In this video, we're talking AI. Can he help us travel? video last week because we were in Destin with some friends and I didn't have time to record anything and we really didn't record anything down there. I had one review that I had to make for Tuesday. It was a product review. So I didn't get a video out last week and then I was really thinking it's not going to happen for this week because we are adding a garage onto our house, kind of a garage workshop they have the camper unhooked so it is dark in the camper i just i probably could plug the camper up but typically during the day while they're here working is normally when i make videos so if you hear banging or anything going on that's them out there working so i had to think of a video what could i do that i'm not in the camper so today i wanted to talk about ai AI, if you have not done yet, it is some of the coolest things that you can do. I use ChatGPT to do a lot of stuff for my real estate and different things just because I'm not a good writer. So I like to help him help me write better. I basically, I write my description and then I tell him to make it sound better. I had heard that he can make an itinerary for you if you're traveling to somewhere and he will tell you what you can do. So today, while we're sitting here, I wanted to test him out and see if he can give us a good itinerary. So basically, I'm going to say that we are going to, you have to give him like a really, really detailed things that you want. So we're going to put that June the 17th, we will leave Birmingham, Alabama, pulling a fifth wheel. We'll be coming back on June 27th. Kind of messed that up a little bit there, didn't I? We will be going to, we're going to give it, we're going to go to this Austin, Texas. Tex, Texas. Want to make a few stops and need some places to stay. and things to do. Traveling. Please give me a detailed, detailed itinerary. I'm horrible at spelling too. That's another reason that we uh, give me a detailed itinerary and description. Description. All right, let's see what he thinks that we should do. See, he can help us with that itinerary from Birmingham, Alabama to Austin, Texas. Here's the details. Now he is laying this out detailed. Now we're gonna go through it once he gets done because he's, um, Now, uh, oh, day 20, return to Birmingham. <laughs> He's making us drive that in one day. Okay, so here's basically what he did. He said, sure, he can plan this itinerary from Birmingham to Austin, Texas. Here's a detailed plan with suggestions, stops, places to stay, and things to do along the way. Day one, you're gonna leave Birmingham and he wants you to go to New Orleans. You can depart from Birmingham in the morning and head south on I-65 towards Mobile. After reaching Mobile, so he kind of gives you like 
a direction to go, arriving in New Orleans that afternoon. Stay at an RV park or campground near New Orleans, such as, gives you some suggestions, Jude Travel Park or Pontchartrain Landing. Now, I, I, we don't know if those places are good, but it at least gives you some idea of some places that you can stay. And then it tells you to explore New Orleans, know of its unique culture, jazz, music, and delicious cuisine. Visit the French Quarters, enjoy a beignet at the Cafe du Mont, and listen to live music on Bourbon Street. So it kind of give you, give you some, some stuff. Now it's telling you on that day to stay in New Orleans the next day, spend the day exploring more New Orleans, visit the National World War II Museum, stroll through the Garden District, and take a riverboat cruise down the Mississippi River. And then it says enjoy local cuisine. Then you're going to leave there in New Orleans and head to San Antonio. And then it tells you the directions, and then you're going to arrive in San Antonio that afternoon. To stay in an RV park, it gives you a couple of RV parks that you can stay in, and then some places to then some places to explore around San Antonio. And then it gives you day four some things to do, and then day five some things to do, and day six, and day seven. So I think if you tell it that you're going let's 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 try this one other way we're just gonna do another thing let's do another scenario so now let's say that you don't want him to do a detailed list but say that you're gonna be in dallas fort worth let's see need a itinerary for dallas fort worth that might be going on places to visit All right, let's see what it says so he's thinking certainly here he goes So basically, here's what he did. He told us some things that you can do when you get there. You can go by visiting the Fort Worth Stockyards, a historic district that showcases the city's Western heritage, watch the daily cattle drives, explore shops and grab lunch. It says you can go to the Kimball Art Museum. There's the Botanical Gardens. You can enjoy a dinner. And it tells you the popular areas to go, the Sundance Square area, such as Renta and or Grace. So it's giving you a couple of places. Then it gives you a ton of stuff. Start your day at the Dallas Botanical Garden, 66 acres. Visit the sixth floor museum plaza. So it really gives you a lot of ideas for each city. I really think that chat GPU can really help you plan a trip. I'm not saying go by this and say these are the things that you want to do, but I think it can give you some great suggestions on things to do in certain cities or even RV campgrounds. Because you can ask him, what are some RV campgrounds near Austin, Texas? move this down so then he will give you some great he gives and you can ask him for a certain number wait so he gave me six different campgrounds that is near Austin Texas so then I can take these go to Google and research those I don't think this is like the perfect way to do things I really think the chat GPU can really help you start exploring things. I think he can really help you with your beginning process of exploring an area that you want to go to. I'll leave this website in the description box. It is totally free to sign up. You can use them ever how you want. Like I said, he can do all kinds of fun things. 
I just think this chat GPU, no, Bill, he's not a fan of my chat GPU because he thinks that it's gonna take over the world. He's watched way too many movies, I think. Do I think that this could be used for bad? Probably, but I just use it for fun. Till next time, like and subscribe.